with us is on the Lord's side. That praise him. If you're on the Lord's side, you ought to praise God. Amen. Amen. With the Lord on our side, we can make it through this. Amen. He is our very present help in a time of trouble. He he strengthens us when we are weak. Amen. He covers. He protects us. Amen. He cares for us. Amen. How many do know that God is a good God? Amen. He is a mighty, mighty good God. Amen. I love him. Do you love him? I said, do you really love Jesus? Amen. Amen. I love him. I love him. I love him. Because he looked beyond my faults. And he saw my every need. He loved me even with my bad self. He keep on loving me. He keep on forgiving me. He keep on giving me uh, one more chance. Amen. Amen. I love him. I love him. Amen. We here to celebrate. Amen. This is a celebration. I read this, um, uh, her life story. Amen. She had confessed Jesus Christ. Amen. For her personal savior. When you have uh, confessed Jesus, amen, you you just rest from your labor, amen. Amen. When Gabriel sounded the trumpet, one that died in Christ will meet our maker in the midair, amen. So we're here to celebrate because she had an opportunity to uh, accept Christ. If she have not had an, an opportunity, we cannot celebrate, amen. But we can celebrate, amen. 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 So uh, we thank praise of God for this. Amen. We are praying for the family. Amen. But God is a good God. Amen. Tears going to flow, but don't uh, let it be a, a tears of no hope, uh, a tear of sorrow. Always tell people, you do the best you can for your loved one. When uh, life does come to the end. Uh, you will not grieve. You will not have no regrets. Amen. Amen. Always tell me, do your very best. Tell your loved one that you love them. Tell, tell someone that you care for. Always help someone. Amen. Amen. Then you will have not, I wish I could. Amen. But, but do your very best, and then you can, amen, uh, put a smile on your face, knowing that you did the best. And you can give them the flower while they yet live. Amen. 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 So, so they could smell it. So they could uh, 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 know that, hey, hey, that you love it. Amen. Give them their flower. Amen. We thank and praise God. Uh, our scripture reading going to be from uh, St. John chapter 14, verses uh, 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, that ye may be also. And where I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas say unto him, Lord, we know not where thou go. How can we know the way? Here come your blessing. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. May God have the blessing of reading and hearing of his holy word. Let us pray. Our Father God, once again, Father, we want to say thank you. We thank you, Father, for this great and blessed day. Father, we thank you, Father, for enabling Father to come to celebrate the life and the legacy of Trainer Ferguson. Father, we ask you, please, if I cover the family and the friend, they had come by just to celebrate and to say, I see you in the morning. 
strengthen them where they are weak, build them up where they are torn down. Father, we realize that you is a caring God. You is a loving God. You is a God of grace and God of mercy. Bless right now. Father, we ask you, Father, even when this celebration is over with, when the call is through, we entrust, Father, that you will be with the family and the friend all throughout the process, all throughout, my God, because your word teacher, you will never leave us nor forsake us. Bless right now. We entrust, Father, that you heard our prayer and that you answer our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Then we'll have a selection by the, uh, once again, um, let's see, Vicki Gore. Amen. Let's give her a big hand as she comes. I would just like to say to the family, God bless. Look unto the hills which come at your help. All of your help come from the Lord. Yeah. Every child of God running for Jesus just like an automobile. Prayer is your driving license and faith is your stirring wheel. Now when you get on the road of Jordan, Savior gonna try to flag you down. You just keep on driving if you want your starry crown. Now listen, you gotta check on your ties. You got a rough road ahead. And when you get rid of your journey, God will put you to bed. Now you gotta check on your generator. You need more strength and power. Can't do nothing without the man. You need him every hour. Now you gotta check on your faults. You got to check on your brakes to stop your wicked ways. A man, a boy, a woman on the other fruit days. Now you got to check on your fault to see your own fault. Stop while you can see them or your soul be lost. Saints, oh saints, you pressed on your starter and start your automobile. You put in first gear, you're going up the hill. But don't you worry, you never see Trina no more. She'll meet you when you're pulling on the other shore. And I'm not a worry about my pocket space. I just want to see, see my savior face to face. There is prayer is your driving license. And faith is your stirring wheel. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vicki. Thank you. Amen. Truly, we thank President God. Amen. For you to uh, volunteer. Amen. To step forward. And you did a marvelous job. Amen. We thank you, President God. Once again, amen. Let's give uh, Vicky another big hand. Come on, come on, somebody. Hey, thank you, thank you, amen. We're gonna have a uh, acknowledgement. The family of uh, Trina uh, Ferguson uh, would like to thank everyone for the act of kindness during this time, amen. All letters, uh, text, amen, phone, amen, uh, will be uh, acknowledged at a later date, amen.
Do we have any um, resolution? All right. Um, obituary will be uh, silent, amen, at the music play. You can read the um, obituary, amen. And I'm quite sure that um, many of you all had already have read it, amen. That's the first thing um, we do when we get the obituary in our hand. We read, amen. Now, uh, the family have remarks, and they stated, two minutes, please. Let me set the ground rule. If you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. We're here to uplift the family. Amen. Say a word of encouragement. And I know that everybody want to, probably want to say something. Most of the things you should have said while Trina uh, was here. Amen. 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 So, so here what I'm going to do. Uh, since I'm nice, I'm only going to do five. Amen. Just five people. Just five people. Do I have one? Come on. We got two. We got three. Two more. Four. Y'all come on. We got room for one more. Amen. We got four. Hello, family. I thank you. The family thanks you for being here. We all had an opportunity to love Trina and have a special time with her. And oh God, how we're going to miss her. She had a spirit that just resonated. She was just so precious. So I wrote a little poem. It was a little too big to put anywhere else, but my baby sister, Trina, you were my sweetest sister, my one and only sister by blood. We have shared so many highs and lows, most good, some hard times. No one can forget your laughter, your smile, your pain and your woes. Our hearts are so heavy that your time with us is done. For me, I needed more years, more like 101. I would cherish our time, love, laughter, and fights. Mostly I will always just miss you. Yet God knew you first and he must have needed you as his angel close to him to help brighten up heaven. So now, little sister, dance, dance, dance. The street suites of gold. Your house head, you dance. Now step a little with our father again. Remember, left foot first. But now in praise and worship to the father. Now as you spin on his every command, when you're done, you can wash your feet with, his, with your tears that he stored up in heaven and dry his, his feet with your hair. And because he saw your pain, I must remember he also had a plan. No, you had to speak no words. He just understands. So pour your praise on him like oil from Mary's alabaster box. And as you bask in his love and glory, wait for me, tree. I'll see you in my dreams and dance with my sister again. Dance, sister, dance.
Hey, everybody. Trina was my cousin. And, uh, hold on. All I can remember um, is her smile. And I just remember being a little girl and, like, watching her and my sisters and cousins get dressed to go out. And I just thought Trina was the most beautiful thing in the world. Like, she had a presence. Like, everywhere she went, she to her heads. People just, like, it was like they never had seen somebody that looked like that. Like, she was a thing instead of, like, this thing. And it was just, well, I'm just really going to miss her. And I just remember one time I happened to see her a couple of years ago, and it was my birthday. And she just came out of nowhere, and she just jumped on me and, like, just wrapped her whole body around me. And, like, we walked around uh, Buffy house in the backyard like that for, like, ten minutes. And I just, and one more thing. She made spandex hot, baby, okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody wear them spandex after she had every color. She had her belts, her bracelets, you know. Nobody was rocking that spandex like Trina, baby. She turned it out for the West Side. I love you, cuz. First, giving honor to God, who is truly the head of my life, and to the family as they sit here. Well, I'll just let this hang off. Um, I just have but a few words to express for this beautiful, beautiful young woman named Trina. Uh, I represent the 800 block of Lawler. We come strong and we come long. Um, we lived on the same block, and as her cousin just said, and I'm sure everybody would agree that Trina was the most beautiful young girl I'd ever seen in my life. You know, when you're young, a year or two makes a big difference. And Trina was about a year older than me. And I would look to her, and I would look to her in awe, as I did most of the people that I secretly admired and outwardly admired, and she was one of them. Trina, she kept to herself for the most part. She minded her own business. She did things her way. Uh, she was Apollonia. <laughs> she was Apollonia. My family, I was from 819. We all adored Prince. So every time we saw Trina, we was like, there go Apollonia. <laughs> I want you all to know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. And I know that Trina's with the Lord. And she can take her rest along with my brother. Because I was just standing here not even four months ago. And my brother lost his life. And it's another one off of Lala. We've lost a few. But I want you all to stay encouraged and know that God is able. He will give you the strength that you need. I didn't know how I was going to make it from one moment to the next, but just take it one moment at a time. Then the moments become days, and then it becomes months, and you know how that goes. I'm not going to talk very long, but as I said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and I know that she is present with a whole lot of greats up there. God wanted a beautiful one with her, and he's got it, and I know that where they're singing, they're singing in glory. Every day is Sunday. There are no nights, only mornings. And I will say this for Trina and my brother and everyone else. That God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. I love you, Trina. 
I love you, family. God bless you all. Hello. Um, if you don't know me, I'm her niece, one of her nieces. Um, she, my mother already came up and said she was her only sister by blood. So this was my only TT. And growing up, I looked up to her. When I say beautiful, oh my God, she was a role model to me. Not to mention seeing the things that she went through and the things she endured and was still able to show love. Still, to the last time I spoke with her, she was still loving and caring. No matter what, she didn't inflict her pain on others. And I thank God for blessing me with someone like that. For Damari and her grandchildren, her siblings, her mom, her, her hubby. I, I look at them, but every, whoever it is. Each and every family member, I just want to strengthen you. <laughs> Sometimes it gets cold and you feel all alone. But hold on, better days are coming. It can get rough in this world. I know it ain't easy, but hang on in there. I know better days are coming. Friends will leave you all by yourself, but don't cry. Cause better days are coming Better days Better days Better days Better days Better days are coming I don't know about you, but the God I serve has to reassure me that it's something coming after this. This is not it. This is not the end. God has more. I know it hurts. And he is a God that come and touches our pain, that can weep with us. And I thank him for loving us even because I've, I've cried, but I had to know that he loved her more than I ever could. So he knew exactly what she needed and to be able to bow at his feet. Damari, baby, I love you. And one thing, when I know when it comes to your mom, she loved you and she loved them grandbabies. I don't care how old you all get, she loved her grandchildren. Thank you all. Good morning, everybody. I thank everybody for coming. I am Trina's first baby. Everybody talked about how beautiful she was. She was beautiful on the inside, baby. She loved with everything she had. Everybody thought she was beautiful, but she was beautiful on the inside. You can have her, the shirt off her back, the money out her pocket. You can sleep in her bed. Trina was everything. She was everything. And baby, she dancing in heaven now because she's at peace. She's at peace. Trina was loving, giving, and caring. And she is smiling, y'all. She is smiling. She is smiling. And I thank God for her. She groomed me and made me strong. This is what y'all see on surface. It's just the surface. But she made me strong. She built me. She loved me with everything in her. And again, I thank everybody for coming, and she's smiling, y'all. She's at peace. Thank y'all.
Amen. We uh, thank and praise of God for each one of you all, kind word, uplifting words. Amen. Amen. So um, I'm quite sure that the family felt great. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you. And that's what we all should do, build up one another and encourage one another, not tearing down one another, but build one another Amen. Amen. Truly, God is good. Amen. We thank praise God for that young lady uh, t- uh, singing. Amen. Better days uh, are coming. Amen. Better days are coming. Amen. Uh, I didn't have to ask for another uh, solo. Amen. Amen. We thank praise God. Better days are coming. Amen. I love that song. I love that song. Amen. One one of my grandsons sing that song, amen, doing praise and worship, amen, amen, um, amen, I love it, amen. I do have a word, uh, just give me 12 minutes and 30 seconds, and I promise I will sit my happy self down, amen, amen. Um, we do have a word, word of um, encouragement, amen. Amen. Uh, couple weeks from now we will be uh celebrating easter amen uh two more weeks from now we will be celebrating easter amen um i know it's hard to uh find a church on easter uh because we only could a whole uh right now starting to April the 1st, I think they're going to go up to 50%, amen. Uh, r- right now at our church, we are on and are dealing with, uh, I think, 35%, amen, 35%. So Easter, we would be up to 50%, amen. But uh, 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 I know it's going to be hard to uh, find a church, amen. But you could see us on Facebook, amen. Just uh, uh, or you to uh, Sunrise Baptist Church, Amen. Sunrise Baptist Church, Amen. Uh, you could uh, see us. Our service start at ten thirty, ten thirty, and all our service only lasts hour and fifteen minutes to an hour and thirty. Hour and thirty minutes at the top, and and that on on first Sunday, Amen. And and we promise that you all have a great time doing praise and worship and and through the preaching amen or you could uh, uh visit our beautiful uh sanctuary amen uh at 1101 south central park 1101 south central park amen amen and we guarantee that you all have a great time i'm from mississippi and and uh you know how the uh, South, people from the South does, amen, amen, amen. We, you know, uh, uh, I'm from a family of 13, uh, uh, family of 13, and um, and just when we meet one another, we hug each other, we, uh, we encourage one another, amen, and that's how we build our church, our church. We is a hugging church. We can't hug no more right now, but <laughs> but we are the hugging church. And when I walk past people, I got to speak. Amen. And that's how we should do. When we walk past one another, speak to each other. Amen. Ain't no harm just to say hello. Amen. Amen. Uh, ain't no harm to say I love you and care for. Amen. Ain't no harm. Uh, we got to learn how to, uh, you know, encourage one another. That's how we build up our community. That's how we, um, uh, 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 you know, strengthen, you know, one another. Amen. Amen. Let us start doing that. I'm from 57 Loomis, 57 Loomis on the south side of Inglewood. We had 18 preachers came out one block, 18 preachers. You know why? Because back then, we encourage one another. We build up one another. 
amen, people used to um, come straight into our house. We don't do it no more, <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, people could walk in, sit down and eat, but uh, uh, time changed, but we can get back by trusting and build up one another. Amen. Let me uh, share with you a word, uh, as I stated, Easter uh, two weeks from now. I just want to talk about John 3.16. That's all I want to talk about, John 3.16. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, verse 17 said, God sent his son in the world not to condemn the world, but through him might be saved. These two verses. Uh, revealed the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. You will find the gospel in these two verses. These two words, you will talk about uh, the son, uh, how uh, he came not to condemn, but to say, if it's not about the Jesus Christ, it's not about his, uh, if you don't talk about Jesus, if you don't talk about how he died, and you don't talk about how he had risen, it can't be the gospel. The gospel, Jesus, the gospel came by Jesus Christ. You can't get to the Father except you uh, come through the Son. John 14 and 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can get to the Father except by him. And so, so in this verse, John 3 and 16, it tells us it doesn't matter of your status in life. It doesn't matter what you had done in life. Amen. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, if you were a game banger, prostitute, uh, a liar, backbiter. It doesn't matter. Amen. Whosoever will, whosoever will, amen. I don't care because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I know sometimes people say, as soon as I get straight, I'm going to uh, give my life to Jesus Christ. You can't never get straight by yourself, amen. You're going to need the Holy Spirit in you to help uh, uh, cause you to walk in the straight and narrow way. Whosoever will, I don't care uh, 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 what you had done. Uh, if you come to Christ, believe in your heart. You got to believe in your heart. You got not from your head, but believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. You got to believe. Amen. If you believe in your heart, amen, you're going to stick uh, with Jesus. Amen. You got to believe in the heart. Amen. Because you have to understand you're going to get old or you might get young, but you're going to die. The two things is, is, is uh, you can't get a uh, pass, amen, tax and death. You're going to either going to die or you're going to pay tax. You can't get around that, amen. So, 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 so you're going to die. But the question is uh, uh, there are two places that you're going to uh, go. Ain't no three, it's just two. Heaven or hell. And both of it is eternal. Huh? Both of it is eternal. Hell is eternal, and heaven is eternal. And, but the choice is yours. Nobody can now, I know we say, uh, go to hell. Nobody cannot send you to hell. Let me say it again. Nobody cannot send you to hell. I know they say, go to hell. And I'm quite sure I said once or twice in my life. Hmm? Huh? But nobody cannot send you to hell. 
Only what you do in this lifetime will determine your destination. People can't even talk you into hell. People can't even talk you into heaven. Hmm? I don't care. Matter of fact, you can't sell enough chicken dinner and uh, fish dinner uh, and to uh, go and buy your way or walk your way into heaven. Amen. Amen. Only way you could get there is to accept Jesus Christ as your what? Person Savior. For God so loved the world, whosoever hmm, believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So good work will not cause you to go to heaven. You were saved to do good work. Let me say it again. You were saved to do good work. Amen. But you cannot do good work and go to heaven. And still don't accept Christ. You just will be a, a good person in hell. That's all. So, 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 we must understand that for God so loved the world. And he did not come to condemn the world. He came to save the world. Are you glad that Jesus is different from us? Let me say it again. Are you glad that Jesus is different from us? When somebody do bad to us, we want to condemn them. How many times we had done bad and Jesus still did not condemn us? <laughs> huh? When we do wrong, we don't want to talk to nobody no more. But suppose Jesus don't stop talking to us. He keep on talking to us. He keep on hearing us. He keep on giving us another opportunity. And one of the things in life, we got to be careful of not forgiving one another. Because if I love, if the one who you didn't forgive died, then you had that regret I wish I had. And that's why the Bible said, do not let the sun go down upon thy wrath. Amen. My wife and I have been married for, uh, let me get it right, 35 years. Amen. I had, you know, men had a hard time remembering. <laughs> We've been married for 35 years. Not one time I slept in a different bed, not one time I slept, huh? Not one time. Because, number one, if you sleep in different bed, I don't care how mad my wife get, she can't say, go sleep on the couch. I tell her, that my bedroom too. Huh? I know the grandkids say, this is mama house. <laughs> Grandmama house. I know the grandkids. But I, let's know that my bed run too, because number one, if you sl if you separate Satan, you bring allow Satan could come in, mm. and once Satan come in, Satan called division, huh? But as long that you forgive one another, more you forgive, the closer you all get toward one another. Huh? Forgiveness bring it frees you. Forgive. Let me say it again. Forgiveness free you, huh? From all kind of stuff. It free. You. It release you, huh? Forgiveness release you. It good for you, not for the other person, but it good. For you, it frees you. And many of us are in prison without bars because of unforgiveness. And so, so, so I always tell people, 
I'm six or seven years old. But I don't look six or seven. Why? Because I refuse huh, to be anybody twins. In other words, if you're angry with me, I'm not going to be angry with you. Huh? If you hate me, I'm not going to hate you. If you don't want to forgive me, huh? I'm not going to uh, act the same way that you act. It's age you. Forgive, unforgiveness will age you. Amen. A uh, uh, hatefulness will age you. Huh? Amen. So, 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 so unforgiveness will cause you to, to carry baggage that is too heavy for you. And so that's why Jesus came so that he could free us from the things of the world. And so, so, so he, he came not to condemn us, but to save us. And so what can we do? Let me get out of here with this. What can we do? Family, what can we do? How we could bring our family together. How could we strengthen one? What can we do? Now, the golden rule in life, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. What do you mean by this? Now, young man, if you don't like me or don't help me, if you don't help me, what should I do, how I should treat you? I do you the way that I want somebody else to do me. Not do unto you the same thing that you do unto me, but I do unto you. The, the same way I do unto you, I want somebody else to do to me. So if I help you, even though that you don't help me, I, I help you because I want somebody else to help me. Huh? But if I do bad to you because you did bad to me, other words, I say I want somebody else to do bad unto me. So, 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 so you cast your bread upon the water. In many days, it will come back unto you. So if you do good, good is going to come back. Huh? Huh? If you do hatefulness, it's going to come back to you. If you love, love is going to come back. If you bring out joy, joy is going to come back. If you bring out a lie, people going to lie on you. So, some poor people lie on you. You don't go back and lie on nobody else. You tell the truth. Why? Because you want truth to come back to you. And so, 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 so that's what Christ wants us to do. Since he saved us, he didn't condemn us. He don't want us to condemn nobody else. So, what the Bible said, if you don't show mercy, mercy won't come back to you. If, if you condemn, condemn will come back to you. So, so what do we want to do? Christ did that, and he wants us to follow his example. He wants us to follow his example. And they were wrong with our churches right now because they were wrong with our churches. We don't, we don't, we, we, we don't teach people to, to uh, well, uh, I hear that too many times. Um, uh, I'm still, I'm not always saved yet. No, 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 no. We can't teach that. If you're not always saved yet, what are you? Huh? I know we still die on the inside. Paul said, I die daily. In other words, I still got some old man that that had to come out and got to die. I'm still dying. I still got ways that I got to, you know, kill. Hmm? We all, that will make life so wonderful, huh? That we constantly growing, we constantly dying. Reason I could say that I don't care how old you are, life will bring out something different in you. 
that you never knew it were there. It will bring out some old attitude, some attitude that you never thought that you had. Hmm. You, you know, you will say the wrong thing, <laughs> huh? Hmm. Because somebody in this world will know how to get under your skin. Hmm. For all them years, you were all mellow. Then all of a sudden, that one person got under your skin. Life will dust that. And what you do for that, you, you, you learn something new about yourself. Then you say, that person, I don't like that person. I got to kill her. Hmm? That's why I'm dying daily. Daily. Because now we got 16 grandkids, five kids, 16 grandkids. And all them grandkids are different. At first, I thought I was a very patient person, but that couple of them grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> huh? But I learned something about myself hmm? through my grandkids. I learned something. And that what life is. You will learn something about yourself. It will teach you what you need to work on. Amen. And how many of us love trainer? How many of us love trainer? How many of us, I'm quite sure everybody here, here love trainer. Amen. Everybody, and, and, and I heard a testimony, how beautiful she was, how, how you know, her spirit, even in the uh, 800 North. You say 800 North? Yeah. A amen. You know, you know uh, that... Remind me, 57 Luma, how y'all act on uh, 800. Amen. Amen. How everybody is together, know each other. Amen. That what it all should be. Amen. We are, the, since she had accepted Christ, God had, you know, you know, um, she is taking her rest right now. If y'all want to see her again, you got to go the same route. That is through Jesus Christ. Amen. You can say you love her all the morning, but if you want to be with her, you got to go the same route. That, uh, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I don't care how bad you, what you had done, Christ can forgive you for all your sin. And the good thing about Christ, when he forgives you, he don't remember that saying no more. Your friend might remember. I go around 57 Lumas and and uh, and uh, I always had one friend always say, Jimmy, uh, I know I remember. I remember that day. Amen. I always try to remember what I had done a long time ago. Huh? Do you have that one friend always bring up? Huh? Always bring up, and you don't do it no more. But it's still bringing that up. Christ never bring it back up. When he forgave you for your sin, he threw it in the sea of what? Forgiveness. And the Bible says he don't remember no more. And that's the reason it's a blessing to get on the Lord's side. Once you accept Christ, all your past is gone. Huh? You got a new star. That's the benefit of being on the Lord's side. Paul said it this way, this man had done no wrong. They all tried to bring up Paul path, but Paul said, but this man had done no wrong. Oh, he talked about that new man. That new man. So make sure if you don't have Christ, make sure you give your life to Jesus Christ. Director, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yeah. Thank you, Lord. 
And I just want to thank you. Good morning, friends and family. We'd like to thank you for coming to the homegoing service of Miss Trina Ferguson. We are going to Oak Ridge Cemetery. We'll be taking Madison to Dutch Plains, Dutch Plains to Roosevelt, and Roosevelt on in. We're going to do our final viewing at this time. We ask that you do not leave the chapel until the family leaves the chapel. Thank you. You've been so
what I've got. Run on and see, and see just what the end is going to be. Every day, every day, I'm making preparations to, to see God's face. God's face. I've got to run, run on, run, run on, and see. see. I know y'all don't like that type of singing. Can y'all hear? Can we just say that one more time like that? Y'all say it again. I've got to run, run on and see, and see just what the, what the end is gonna, is gonna be. Every day, every day, I'm making preparations to, to see God's face. God's face. Anybody here gonna run, run on, run on. Y'all like that? It's gonna be. Can we try it again? Whoa. I got to run on and see. And see. Just what the end is gonna be. Every day. Every day. I'm making. Come on, put your hands together. To see. God's face. God's face. I've got to run. I'll tell you one more thing. I found out in this race that, that if I try and myself in Christ, then I can have I got a witness here. If you don't mind, would you just tell me? I got a made up man to run. But the end is gonna go me. I'm making preparations. I wanna see his face. I'm a run
If we could turn off the music and we're going to do the committal at this time. After we do the committal, we ask that everyone expeditiously goes to your cars, lines up as they ask you to so that we can make it to the cemetery on time. We're going to need about seven flower girls or seven women that want to be girls and about... uh, we need six flower, I mean six pallbearers to line up by the double glass doors. Thank you.
Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Wherefore, comfort ye one another with these words. Let all say amen. amen. Put your hands together. This is the last song of the night, and we out of here. Talk to me.